So very quickly, AM 6.4, before we step into the demos, it's a really big release, adding new capabilities in the areas of fluid experiences, which is your tool set for omni-channel content management. Secondly, innovations, obviously there's a lot of innovation, but specifically in the areas of um, automating mundane tasks with sensei capabilities, a lot of capabilities in there, great new features in AM 6.4 to um, support your operation of AM uh, in the cloud. So here's the first of the 10, experience fragments. So I got variations here that I have ready, but there's, they do reuse the same content, right? I can group anything, so I can select multiple items, so I can basically create a building block, reuse it everywhere, and then I can make one change across all channels for my content. So that's building blocks and experience fragments. Number two, a style system um, for applying themes to um, AEM um, pages and sites. In AEM itself, like inside the editor, any component can now have multiple styles. So I have this new icon that shows up if a style is defined, and if I click on it, I get this style dropdown. Basically, create multiple variations. Instead of having multiple components or uh, having a drop down to select them, you can really visually select each individual pieces that you want to display. Number three, Smart Crop powered by Adobe Sensei. So here's one of these capabilities that we added where we leverage the capabilities of machine learning to automate these mundane tasks that we talked about earlier. So when you have your assets um, here in AEM, I have a bulk smart crop option, which basically allows me to preview the selections and choices that have been made by Sensei. So for example, here I get, uh, each, for each and every image, I get the, the decisions presented. Smart layout, again, powered by Adobe Sensei. It, it makes decision on how much should it pack the stories together in order to create a, the most optimal layout. Or basically, we're trying to predict the most optimal layout. Okay, number five, Adobe Launch integration. Now, AEM will automatically sync, so all the rules that you change that you do in here uh, are then automatically taken over into AEM and, and we make sure that uh, everything's tacked properly. All right, let's switch gears and uh, move over to some of these real-world tasks that every web producer has to perform in a global web operation, which is how to deploy translated content and how to deal with corrections. Where I see a list of things that were basically changed, from the original translation. And I can literally just select them and update the memory. Content Fragments, again, is launched in 6.2, our year author's tool sets. Now in 6.4, we added very nice capabilities to allow information architects to, before the authors even get started, create models. And then on the output side, we added the capabilities to not only output into HTML for web pages, but also into JSON for consumption in other channels. So number eight, single page application, SPA editor. How do we manage content in these single page applications? How do we manage the design and layout of these single page applications? The teams have built a great uh, feature and functionality that allow you to import single page applications written in React.js into AEM. You can bring in your existing single page app that you might already have written or you're going to about to write and bring that into AEM and so to speak map your client side component to storage on in the CMS. Your existing client side components because of the mapping will basically get the content from the JSON and then display that content in there. Number nine, AEM screens. Uh, talking about omni-channel fluid experiences Certainly always the web and mobile comes to mind, maybe email, but there's so many other uh, channels that are relevant today. So Adobe launched AM screens a little while ago. Um, it's a way to control interactive screens with Adobe Experience Manager. You can make an inventory of all the screens that you have, and then we have a script that basically creates a complete screens uh, project based on that Excel sheet. With Cloud Manager, we're now very happy to be able to provide to you for running AEM in Adobe Managed Services. It's specific to Adobe Managed Services, a great CI-CD pipeline that allows you to manage your instance, to see the operations of your instance, and to uh, release your code in a more regular basis, supported with testing tools, so you can really uh, um, step up the velocity for releasing code in AEM.